Hey, welcome back. I'm super excited to announce that I am creating a new certification course. This time it is Developing Solutions for Microsoft Azure, which is AZ204. So let me introduce you to the course. On the first episode, you will learn about all the basic things you need to learn about the examination from what are the prerequisites for the examination? Who is this course intended for? What are the skills you need to be learned to sit for the examination? And how can you schedule the examination? My name is Sushant Suthish and I'm going to be your trainer for this entire series. I am certified at an expert level on both Azure and Microsoft 365. You can download this presentation and all other previous presentation by going into a guide to cloud.com. I will make sure to put the link right down in the description where you will be able to download the presentation. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me via LinkedIn. I'm happy to assist you if you need any help. Now let us look into the study areas for this examination. So there are primarily five study areas in this examination. On the right hand side, you see different weightages for this examination. These different weightages means the number of questions you can expect on the examination. The higher the weightage means you can expect more questions on this particular study area. As you can see that developing Azure compute solution and connect to and consume Azure and third party services have more weightage. That means you have to focus more on these study areas. So let me show you what all the things you need to study within these study areas. So to find out more, let's go to the examination page. So search for AZ204 and you will find the Microsoft certification link for this examination. This is where you can learn about what is this certification about? Who is this intended for? Things like that. If you are planning to schedule for the examination, please make sure you choose the region here and it will display the appropriate amount for your region. If you scroll down, you will be able to find something called skills measured. These are the five different skills we talked about. If you want to know what are the topics comes under these each study area, click on download examination skills profile. This guide is a very handy tool for anybody who is studying for any Microsoft examination. This not only let you know what are the important study areas you need to learn, what are the topics which Microsoft have removed from the previous examination or the previous version of this examination. As you can see under developing Azure Compute Solution, it tells you what are the main study areas. It includes learning about Azure Infrastructure as a Service solutions, including how to provision virtual machines. And you need to learn about how you can configure, validate and deploy Azure ARM templates, etc. All right, so this is one of the very important resources you can go through to identify what all the study areas you need to be preparing for before sitting for the examination. Now let us understand who is this course for? Microsoft thinks anybody who is an Azure developer or who has any developing background and want to explore Microsoft development solutions are the one who should be appearing for this examination or if you want to explore Azure development opportunities, this is the best certification for you. And if you're only particular about learning about Azure development and Azure DevOps, then you don't have to necessarily go and learn about AZ-104, which is around administration. That is really good for any IaaS administrators or who would like to get job as an Azure administrator. AZ-204 can be a stepping stone for an Azure developer or if you want to proceed and learn about Azure DevOps, this is one of the prerequisites for that examination. Another thing which Microsoft recommend is you need to have at least one to two years of professional development experience with Microsoft Azure in order for you to completely understand the whole study area in this examination. I have used materials from Microsoft Learn and other Microsoft documentation to prepare this course for you. So while reading the documentation, you might find that I may be using the same reference language as Microsoft because I am completely leveraging the resources which Microsoft provide for this particular content. 
One additional content which highly encourage you guys to explore is the walkthroughs and the lab guide prepared by Microsoft for this examination or for any other examination. You can find them in GitHub. So let me quickly show you how you can access those. So I'm going to go to the GitHub page. Just type in the examination number and GitHub. Click on the first link. And basically this is where you will be able to find all the resources which can help you prepare for this examination, including learning materials. So if you go under instructions, you can click on demos. This, this is where you may be able to find a lot of demo guides and go under the labs. This is where you will be able to find lots of lab materials. So you can listen to the modules which I am teaching. I will make sure to include lots of hands-on um, wherever possible. I won't be able to go through the entire labs, which you can do it absolutely yourself. All you have to do is go to this particular link, open one of these lab guides. This include all the instructions you need to learn for starting with this labs. This include the architectural diagram, step-by-step -step guide on how you can perform these lab activities, what are the expected results, things like that. All right, so that concludes the first episode. In the next episode, we are going to start with understanding what is Azure App Service. I'm going to give you an overview of Azure App Service. I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.